Hey guys, and welcome back to Shadows of the Damned. When we last left off, we were uh, having an in dis discussion about Paula, actually, and how we uh, found her in the trash, which was interesting until she had a phone call, and then stuff went weird, and then uh, Hotspur here found it very erotic. You know, standard stuff. So, let's continue. Well, this looks fancy. This underworld malarkey doesn't seem to be too bad. Oh. Fireworks. We could use these to chase away the darkness, at least in short bursts. Okay. Firework. Oh, jeez. Okay. This is bad. Uh. Oh, right. We've got to keep mashing it. I see. Or think anyway. <laughs> we go. Just look at them. Fire sprinkles <laughs> right. in a great big chocolatey sky. Johnson. Uh, Shut up. Chocolatey sky, he says. Alright, so that only lasts for a relatively small amount of time. Which is fine. We don't mind that. But we need to find ourselves a goat head. Temple of the Goat. There ain't Jack up there. We can't go this way. Alright, so there has to be something around here that we can shoot. I guess. We can go through here. Alright, so the darkness is only through there, I guess. Ooh. Not sure what that's about. Uh, right, well, I'm guessing... Ooh, we're going to have to come back here a little bit later. Listen to this music. Oh, no, we can't. Remember, we can't go back. Apparently. Um... Okay, well, right, there's nothing. Uh, I did not sign up for puzzles. No, sir. Right. So, what the bloody hell are we doing here? Can we really not go back? What abilities do we have? So we can't... Oh! Right! Yes. Use the light shot. Of course. It's so Magnifico. obvious. Magnifico. Yeah, something like that, buddy. Uh, this is going to get a lot worse before it gets better. Or maybe not. Right, come on then, you little shitbags. One at a time. As long as they keep giving me that delicious money. Yeah, I'm sure we need to get like 300 gems. 300 gems and that's an achievo. We like achievements. We also like being able to see our enemies. Ribbly bastard hiding down here. Oh, you son of a... You know what? Oh, right, of course. So that melee attack is rather useless then. Because it will only hit something in front of you. Yeah, even that. It's kind of crap, actually. Oh, boy. Back into the darkness. Come on. There we go. Oof. Ah, there's our friend taking a shit all over the place. Thanks, pal. Now, who's that running away? Somebody is having a little hop and a skip. Uh, right, we can actually go back here. So that's something. There's a firework launcher right there. 
Let's go. All right. Yeah, always with the darkness, dude. Like, is there any is is any of this necessary? That's what I want to know. Do we really need this much darkness? Well, we chunked him. Ooh. Okay. Okay. There's plenty of enemies here. Right, can we... Yeah. Let's see if we can get this going. <laughs> I love the way he sticks that in. And frantically, he's like, you know, panic. Oh, God. There we go. Frantically kind of like panic rubbing the inside of that in a very suggestive manner. Oh, God. Ugh. There we go. Die. Thank you. Getting used to the input delay is taking some time. All right. Just finish this little impy bastard off, and then we're good. Oh. Hi, guys. How about that? Dude, you gonna come over here? I mean, you can stay over there if you like. It makes my job easier. At least he gave me an eyeball. Happily take that. I don't know why he, what he's rubbing in there. And I'm not even going to think about it. But <laughs> it is tickling me. Okay. So you, you little bastard. I bet you want an eyeball, don't you? Cool. Now, I want upgrade gems. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Right, get that going. Come on, rub her up. Get her happy. Make her explode. There we go. Whew. Stress. Stress less, bro. Okay. Some more booze. So, we need... There. Oh, that was easy. Alright, I thought there was going to be more to that than that. Colour me surprised, I guess. Any upgrade gems? Any upgrade gems at all? No? My king... Ooh, hello. Well, this is pretty. Take a closer look. Do we have to take a closer look? I have a feeling this is well, going to be bad. Ho. Name's Christopher. Now oh. don't y'all be afraid. I ain't going to bite. Trust me. You see, I'm what you call a mixture of beast and human. Oh, best <laughs> of both worlds, my pappy said. But what are you doing around these parts? Ain't you immortal? Why should I tell you? All I see is demon. Well, shucks. You got to look underneath the leathery exterior. <laughs> Deep down, I am a sensitive and understanding listener. So Aww. a swipe named Fleming stole my girl and took her to his castle. I am here to take her back. Meaning you are on a quest to kick the Prince of Evil's ass? Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want in on some of this action. How can I help, huh? How can I? Well, I hope that you're offering more than just enthusiasm. I tell you what, I get pretty hungry, and I just love her of them white gems. <laughs> you get enough of those, and we can trade. With the right incentive, I might even be able to introduce you to some real product. Know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> Magnifico. Okay. Then chuck them sparklies right down the hatch. <laughs> Go on, feed me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like him. All right, Howdy what have you got? If it ain't my bestest buddies. So we can. Oh, we can buy red gems. I'm surprised Christopher hasn't had a visit from the GEA. Ooh. Well. Hmm. We're going to hold off on that at the moment because I want to get 300 gems to get that Achievo. But I like this Christopher fella. He's definitely going to be useful. 
it will certainly be part of the coming empire. So, oh, what the sh shit is that? Hello? What's this? Sushi with a dick? These guys may look ugly, <laughs> but they're actually quite useful. Are they friendly? Yes, I kept one as a pet. Hit them with light, and they'll keep you safe. Hit them with light? Okay. Okay. Bit odd, but whatever. We'll go with it. Hardly the strangest thing we've seen for a while, is it? Come on, you ugly motherfucker. Come back. There we go. You know what? Give me those gems. Give me those gems. Okay, now, as cool as this dude is, he needs to stick with us, really. Kind of seems to be just disappearing off on his own. A cemetery. Really? I had no idea. No, there isn't. No need to get snippy. It's just this wasn't here before. Since when do demons get buried? Since I came to town. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Alright, we can't grab any more bones. Well, this looks oh, ominous. This? Mr. X. Only a demon hunter could kill this many and not be lying dead next to them. So there's another demon hunter here? Interesting. Right, we would be buried together. Okay. A bit morbid. But I can understand. <gasps> Died wearing a purple jacket. Oh. Well, look at that. Well, I mean... Any particular head we should be aiming for? Well, no shit, jackass. Okay, this is gonna get... This is gonna get a little bit iffy, isn't it? Um, let's use the Tifa for now. Right, so they don't come back, which is good. We like that. It also apparently seems to take a significant amount of shots to take those guys out. And if these guys are going to keep coming, then we can farm them for gems. Because, you know, daddy didn't raise no fool. That is, of course, if they're going to keep coming. And it certainly looks like they are. Now, daddy also should have raised someone that instinctively ra aims for the head. But we can't have everything now, can we? Come here, you little shit. Stamp the fucking life out of you. Yeah, some of these guys drop like three gems. Yeah, they all seem to drop three gems. That's not going to take long to get us that Achievo, to be honest. Ow, that was pain. That was pain. Let's swig the hooch. Swig the hooch. Swig the hooch. Okay. So this melee attack is definitely useful. Okay. That wasn't bad. So when you charge this up, that's when it does damage. Got ya. We're learning things, see? And that's half the battle. Ow, son of a bitch. Right, come on, charge that flame. I'm starting to see why charging this fireball attack thing up could be quite useful. But unfortunately, we're just taking too much damage. So... We might. 
Ooh. Have to just. Carry on and get some more gems another time. Right, let's have some more tequila. Tequila's definitely where it's at. Come on, sir. Ooh. Yeah, the, the fact that you get stuck on items is a bit off-putting. But, you know, again, it's not really an issue that's unique to this game. I do like the way the enemies themselves are quite stupid. That's certainly helping. The talkative one? What's that about? I'm sure we can find out once this madness is over. Ah, crap. That's the other problem. Alright, let's stamp this guy's brain out. And get some more precious gems. Come on, sweetheart. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oof, God. Yeah, that... There's a bit of a delay on that gem counter as well that I'm noticing. Kind of looks like you only pick up a couple of gems, but actually... You've got loads. I would love a better melee attack. But I wouldn't be surprised if we do get that a little bit later on. Nothing wrong with grinding up some currency. There we go. Although it is costing us pretty much all of our health. Which could be an issue. Oh, you fucker. I didn't even see him coming. Oh, there we go. Now, let's hold this down. Okay, that didn't even hit him. That just went straight through him. Hit detection is a bit of a bitch. I can imagine playing this on the harder difficulty would not be fun in the slightest. Yeah, because that missed everything. Because it looks like... There should be a healthy range with that melee attack, but it just goes through everything. And the things that it doesn't go through, it misses. So, oof. Maybe not as useful as I was hoping. Yeah, there's definitely a delay in that gem counter. It seems to take a good bit of time for it to catch up to speed there. There we go. In fact, all of the counters seem to have quite the delay. And I'm trying to dodge out the way, but apparently I'm stuck actually in the scenery. Which is less than fantastic. Uh-oh. Oh, bad. Definitely very bad. But that's fine. We have tequila. Tequila makes us happy. Tequila makes us very happy. Ah, you son of a fucking bitch. Okay. No more Mr. Nice Hotspur. Just brain all of these enemies. Oh, God. Yeah, the whole this this game in motion doesn't feel good at all. It's interesting. Oh, hello. Didn't realise someone was behind me. Should have gathered. Now the good thing with this is these enemies do drop pretty easily. And it's stuck on the scenery again. Yeah, you do, like, you, you expect a higher quality from uh, such prestigious developers, I think. I think that's fair to say. You, you expect a game to perform adequately. 
because they seem to have all I mean look you just see the way the game's just glitching around these trees now this is running the latest patch as well but it feels like it's running at about five frames a second it is very loud very inadequate performance but that's pretty much the only criticism I have against this game. And it is a big barrier to the feeling of it, though. Like the way the camera doesn't move um, when your back is against the wall, it just kind of goes through your character, so all you can see is a gun. Okay, that guy's behind, sure. And you can't hit anything that's above you on stairs, by the looks of things. Great. <laughs> that was fantastic. Come on, douchebag. Okay, that definitely should have hit him. Now that hit him. But didn't exactly go where we wanted now, did it? Come on, a little bit more. That's it. Interesting that there's unlimited en enemies as well. So you can literally grind as much as you like. Okay, that actually hit, which I'm surprised. You've, it's one of those situations where you, you can't rely on the mechanics of the game. Because there's a very good chance that it just won't work. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, melee time. Again, perfect example. Meleeed, and he meleeed the tree? Okay. There we go. Start doing some damage to these bastards. So close. 11 more gems. This Achievo better be worth it. Meatballs lover. Hey, not bad. We're getting some nice achievements here. I was going to say, have you guys given up? I don't think so. They haven't given up per se, but it almost feels like they've slowed down. Which I guess is a similar thing. Stingy bastard. Excellent. Right. Now, let's go take this dick out. So, what does that do? Oh, really? He drops gems. Big gems. And a brain. Oh, wait. That was it? That was literally it. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Literally all we had to do. But it has cost us all of our ammo, pretty much. But that's fine. Ammo and health, I have a feeling, won't take too long to regen. Ooh, can go stamp the shit out of this guy. All right, that was chaotic. Now let's go harvest up some more goodies. So we've got a brain. We got some more teeth. Do we have to reload weapons? Yeah. Excellent. So there's our grave. I don't think we're going to be buried in there anytime soon. <laughs> Nothing else hidden around. Oh, there is a box. Now, wouldn't it be great to be able to melee these boxes open? Oh. Okay. Shooting the box made it jump forward. Cool. Well, I think we've seen everything we need to see here. Oh, there's a brain. I bet he wants a brain. Now that's a big tower.
Hopefully we'll bump into our friend and buy some red gems for too long. Um, I don't know. Are we missing anything? I kind of get the feeling that some of these doors might open, maybe. I don't know. I wasn't expecting it to be such a linear game. It did feel almost quite open to start off with. Now, that's not um, a negative. I'm, I don't mind a linear game. But it did feel surprisingly open to start with. I wondered if it was going to be like Resident Evil 4. We're going to have like a big, huge map. Kind of. Ah, so that's the tower we're heading towards. I see. What a wonderful world. Ooh. We're not going to bump into Saddler, are we? Darkness. Where is a god when you need one? Okay, okay. Crazy idea, G. What if we use that chandelier? Makes sense. Oh. Oh, what the hell is this? Okay. So I'm guessing we have to... Right. So we can go up, and I'm guessing if we do that, we activate the me, buttons. A bit phallic. <laughs> a bit phallic. <laughs> <laughs> they do look pretty phallic. No denying that. Look at all these gems. Happy with those. Collect as many gems as we can get our grubby little mitts on. I kind of wish he didn't grind so hard a minute ago, but whatever. Now, can we go down? We can. So we've gone up, but we can go down too. Now, give me the gems. Because it's like 75 gems for an upgrade. But, I'm going to go out on a limb and say those upgrades probably get more expensive. The more we get. Just a guess. How's it going? I think we're getting them all. Because we like ourselves some crystals. Let's keep going. <laughs> and somebody's singing. Somebody's having a whale of a time. Somebody other than us, that is. Oof. Oof. We're definitely going to need some heavy drinking for this. Oh. Something ruined our flow. Damn it. Come on. You know, this is a pretty durable chandelier. They don't make him like this in our reality. Come on. There we go. I'm guessing... Oh, we missed all those gems. I'm guessing we've missed a light somewhere. Oh, we have. Come on, baby. Come on. Swing your hips. Oh. Very nice. You see? Chandelier. Brilliant idea. Or one you pulled out of your ass. Wrong. I don't have an ass. Hmm. But it was a very good idea. You can't say it wasn't. Hotspur. Uh, maybe we should start upgrading the boner, but... I just like having health. Health just seems to be where it's at for now. Right, what time? Oh, we're on half an hour. I suppose I better leave it there for now. So what achievements did we get here then? Save more than 300 white gems in your inventory. Defeat 30 enemies with the uh, Skull Cushioner. Defeat 20 enemies with the Teether. Okay. Uh, some fairly standard ones there to get.
Defeat George Beast Boss. Defeat Mara Grimm, Sister Grimm Boss. Okay, Elliot. Justine. And Fleming, of course. Secret. Now, hopefully, we're going to get all of these uh, achievements, or we'll get those two straight away. Complete all chapters on hard difficulty. Defeat 10 enemies with a stomp attack. We must be on our way for that. So I'm guessing maybe when we fully upgrade these weapons, they turn or they evolve into a different weapon. Defeat three enemies at once using the barrels of light. I'm surprised we haven't done that. The puppeteer, perform a headshot right after a leg mutilation when the enemy is flying back in the air. Well, I don't really get what that means. Oh, perform five headshots in a row with any weapon except the big boner. Perform all five brutal kills on normal demons frozen by the light shots. Ooh, yeah, okay. Recover all available red gems in the game. Yeah, that's obviously going to be uh, a challenge. But we did get some new uh, lore, I believe. Ah, the t oh, right. Johnson can now transform into the Teetha. Teetha is a fast machine gun able to shoot demon's teeth at a high rate of fire. We've got the sushi lamp. A sushi lamp is a friendly demonic creature with natural grown lamp on its head. The sushi lamp light can be a source of fear to some unmasked demons. Sushi lamps are, uh, are able to move around freely on the environment. Get them moving using your torch or light shots. We have Christopher, a traveling shopkeeper, half human, half demon. He loves white gems, so use them to purchase items such as drinks, ammo and red gems. Now, yeah, I'm not sure about um, using them to buy drinks or even ammo, really, but red gems seems like a thing. And a meat gate. These special gates can be moved up or down by shooting with the light shot to the core of their center. Sometimes meat gates can be paired. You can often use meat gates strategically to block or trap demons in specific locations. Interesting. Launching fireworks with a firework launcher will remove the darkness, but only for a short time. Send fireworks skyward by igniting the launcher with your torch. Blue gems are very rare in the demon world and are usually possessed only by big, arrogant demons. Blue gems are said to possess enchantment powers. When applied to Johnson's skull, it will be possible to obtain new weapons and, and or new functions. Okay. These hand-shaped demonic mouths have the ability to spew out darkness into the surrounding environment. Darkness hands can be stopped by plunging your torch inside them. Right. Got yeah. Okay. There is a hell of a lot of lore. Oh. He says, as we've nearly uncovered all of it. Right, anyway guys, I will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we are going to hopefully find Christopher and spend some of these gems that we've been hoarding. So, till then guys, thanks for watching.